for the data monitor client to access the data. A connection to the data source, which is supposed to be accessed, must be configured in the Web Center. A connection has to be created for each data source, for example, the WinCC server, Central Archive server, or Swapped Out Archives. In the following demonstration, a new connection will be created for the WinCC runtime data. The configured connection is required for the function Trends and Alarms and the Web Center page. Uh, requirements. In order to configure a connection and create public Web Center pages in the Web Center, the logged in user must be a member of the Windows user group DM underscore admin. To create a connection to the WinCC server, simply click on the Web Center link and then click Administration. This will open up the Connection Administration web page. Select the New Connection option in the Connection Management. Select the Connection Name field to enter a connection name. The name can be any name you like. However, you should avoid spaces and any special characters. A good programming practice here would be to specify a name that indicates what the connection is for. For the purposes of this demo, we will use the name WinCC1 underscore runtime, which indicates which server and what we are connecting to. In order to enable data monitor clients access to swapped out archives, these archives must be connected to SQL Server again. The data monitor client can then access the data. WinCC runtime archives cannot be connected or disconnected since their connection with SQL Server is managed by the WinCC basic system. You are provided with the following ways of connecting and disconnecting archives. You can either use the Web Center or the archive connector. You can perform the following manual connections, manual disconnections, and automatic connection. Note, archives created with the SQL Server 2000 can only be connected if you remove the right protection of the archive. If you want to assign archives you need to release the following. The directories in which the archives are stored must first have the right protection removed using Windows Explorer. The user group Somatic HMI Viewer must have authorization full access to these directories. Web Center pages and reports are stored in directories on the data monitor server. The directories public and private exist by default. Every user has a private directory which only that user has access rights to. You can create other directories as a member of the DM underscore admin group. You can assign different access rights for the individual directories to Windows user groups. Read, change, and create. A user, as a member of a user group, only has access to a directory if the respective user group has access rights to that directory. This permits user group specific access.